Now to the courts. The scheduled arraignment of the suspended governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Godwin Emefile, at the Federal, High, Federal Capital Territory High Court, Abuja, has been stalled. While Mr. Emefile was in court, the second defendant, Saadat Yaro, was absent. And this informs the decision of the court to adjourn till the 23rd of August. Judiciary correspondent Celestine Area has more. It is the second time the Department of State Services will be charging the suspended CBN governor to court. Uh, no. Mr. Mefile was first arraigned before Justice Nicholas Owebo of the Federal High Court Lagos on a two-count charge of illegal possession of firearms to which he pleaded not guilty. Justice Owebo had granted bail to Mr. Mefile in the sum of 20 million naira and one shorty in like sum. The court ordered that Mr. Mefile should be remanded at the Koei Correctional Center pending the perfection of his bail conditions. After proceedings on that day, the DSS rearrested Mr. Mefile and took him in custody despite the orders of the court. Now, he had been brought before Justice Hamza Mwazu of the FCT High Court Mitama on the 20 count charge of illegal procurement of over 98 vehicles and armored buses to the tune of 9.6 billion naira. Mr. Mefile is expected to be arraigned alongside a CBN employee, Sadatu Yaru, and her company, April 1616 Investment Limited. At the day proceedings, counsel to the federal government and director of public prosecution of the federation, Mohamed Abubakar, told Justice Hamza Mwazu that Sadatu Yaru took ill in the morning, hence was unable to make it to the court. Mr. Abubakar apologized to the court and applied for a new date for arraignment. The request for adjournment was not opposed by Kilolo Kainde, a senior advocate of Nigeria who stood for Mr. Emefile. Justice Mars was subsequently fixed 23rd August for the arraignment. Oh, now they told us that Emefile has cases to answer on, case, on matters that had to do with terrorism. We expected that the charges will reflect terrorism count charges. Unfortunately, or surprisingly, what we saw was matter bordering on procurement that he gave contract for the award of land cruisers. Gentlemen, this is a charade. Operators of the Department of State Services who brought Mr. Mayville to court under watertight security to avoid security breaches returned him to their custody immediately after the proceedings. The alleged offences committed by the suspended CBN governor is contrary to Section 19 of the Independent Corrupt Practices and Other Related Offences Act 2000. If found guilty, Mr. Mayfield may be sentenced to five years imprisonment without an option of fine. Celestina Area, TVC News, Abuja.